Welcome to Spine Academy. In this video, we're going to review dynamic x-ray imaging of the cervical spine. This is an excerpt from a broader course on cervical spine imaging. If you're interested in seeing the full course, we've left a link in the description. So MRI scan and CAT scan are probably the most valuable sequences we have in imaging the cervical spine. Those show us what the bony anatomy looks like as we just saw with the CAT scan. They show us the spinal cord, spinal nerves, discs, things like that that you otherwise can't really see. But it's really interesting to note, and it's important to underscore, that both for CAT scan and MRI scans, you're lying flat on a table. So you're lying flat and you're static and you're seeing what your spine looks like in that static condition. So what do you think you miss in that? You miss how your spine reacts to normal load. So when you're standing up, leaning forward, leaning back, you can't see any of that stuff in an MRI or a CAT scan. And that's really the role of these studies, dynamic x-rays. This is a very valuable study. It's not sufficient alone, but really gives us an important piece of information, which is how your spine reacts to load. So in this picture here, for example, you can see this person standing up, leaning all the way forward. You can see what the alignment of the cervical spine looks like here. You can even see like their jaw. You can see the relation of all these different structures. And you can see what it looks like leaning back. So you get a sense of what their range of motion is like, which is not something that you can capture with any of the static imaging we talked about before. You can also see a little bit kind of what the discs themselves, you can see the disc at five, six, a little bit more worn out. Here you can see the same thing, some bone spurs there. It's a little bit crude. It's not as good as say a CAT scan for looking at bone spurs, but it's very good for looking at kind of the global alignment. This next picture is gonna give you a sense for example, of some pathology. So here you can see this person's leaning all the way forward to their neck, excellent range of motion, leaning all the way forward, excellent range of motion, leaning all the way backwards. But if you really pay close attention to this person who came in with really bad neck pain, with shooting pain at the back of their head, they have nice alignment over here when they lean back, but when they lean forward, you can see there's a gap that forms there, probably four or five millimeter gap that forms between C1 and C2, and that is considered cervical instability. You can't capture something like that on, on static imaging. You have to get dynamic imaging, and that is the power of dynamic x-rays. So between an MRI and a CAT scan, which show you the soft tissue anatomy and the bony anatomy really well, and dynamic x-rays, which show you the range of motion and exclude any kind of instability, you can really paint a very full picture of what's happening with the cervical spine. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future content, we'd welcome them in the comment section below.